Okay, so do you love my lip shirt? I love it. Um, okay, so like kind of for the past, um, I don't know, like five or six years, I've been trying to like adultify my wardrobe because I basically owned like the same clothes like since high school and just, I don't know, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. I just needed, a, you know, a wardrobe update. So, you know, I'm trying to be like, you know, for a while I was trying to just, okay, well, I need to dress like a grown up. So, what is that like? So, basically, I haven't bought any clothes in like six years because I don't know how a grown up is supposed to dress. Um, and then I reached 30 and I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear clothes that make me happy. Screw being a grown up. If I feel good in a shirt with lips on it, then damn it, I'm going to wear it. So, I want to share, that's random, um, I need to share a haul with you today, and I'm so excited, I literally went ham at CVS, okay, um, there is this gigantic CVS, and it's literally like all the way across town, I had to drive quite a bit to go there, and I had never been in there before, but I had gone to a CVS like a few weeks ago, and was just amazed by the beauty selection in there and this is like a shirt and a bra and this is like a little I don't know if this is supposed to be like off my shoulder or something I don't know uh probably it's a little bizarre I'll figure out how to wear clothes someday um so I went into the CVS and I was like OMG I need to you know <laughs> need makeup um so I went a little crazy and here's what I got um let's start with what I got on my mouth um, this is, these are like limited edition, and I think it's just the colors that are limited edition. I don't think it's this brand or this like product per se, and I really hope not because I like these a lot. Um, this is the color Sensational. Um, I actually got this in two shades. The Raspberry Ablaze is this one, and that's what I have on my lips right now. And then I also got this one in Chocolate Lust. And I will swatch this one for you, the Chocolate Lust one, because the other one's on my mouth. Um, but oh my goodness, these are so full color. I mean, if you want a full color lip gloss, color sensational. Girl, that is dark. That is pretty. There is that chocolate lust one. Um, Leslie, if you're looking for a lip color that's dark and that's gonna, you know, I have a friend, Leslie, and she's like, nothing's dark enough for me. Um, girl, go out and get this. Color Sensational, Maybelline. Um, the High Shine Lip Gloss. These are awesome. I mean, super full color, so pretty, feels so nice on your mouth. Um, you know, colored lip glosses are just such a great alternative to lipstick. Okay. Um, I got another product, and this is by NYC. This is their Smooch Proof Lip Stain. Um, it claims to give you 16 hours of color. I've never tried these before. This is in the color, um, Berry Long Time. I don't know, I'm going through a little bit of a berry phase right now. I, like, went from red to berry, and... I don't know, we're going crazy. Um, ooh, that is interesting. Look at that color right there. How pretty. Okay, so this is like, okay, if you can see, that's like, <laughs> I'm sitting in a stool that I really shouldn't be leaning forward and I fall out of it all the time. Um, this is like a felt tip marker type of deal. <gasps> oh my God, and it totally like, just like went into my skin right there. Oh my goodness. That is exciting. I cannot wait to try that. So that's coming out a little bit more sheer. I'm not sure if I'll be able to build this up or what. We will see what happens there. And what else did I get? Um, oh, I saw these. Um, this is also from Maybelline, which, um, I don't know. I just saw these. These are new. Um, this is their Master Glaze by Face Studio Blush Stick. And this is in the shade um, Pink Fever. I love cream blushes. Um, 
I'm really glad that the drugstores are coming out with, oh, that's so awesome. Look at that hot pink blush. I love, like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I have no taste. I love a bright colored blush, though, and I don't care what you say about it. Thinking of what's on my... Okay, so I used, I don't know if this is coming across on camera, but I used, what the heck did I use? One of those Benetint, or Benefit, uh, High Beam. Is that what I used? Their liquid one? Oh, Sunbeam. And I, I rarely use this, and the reason why is because every time I use it, I feel like it picks up part of my makeup. I don't know. It just looks weird. I don't know. That was really off topic. Anyway, let's go. Eh! I picked this up from Physicians Formula. Um, this is the Conceal RX. It said it is a concentrated concealer for maximum coverage um, to cover pretty much anything. Um, this is what it looks like, Conceal RX. And then on the back there, it shows, like, you know, what sort of things. Um, I have, like, a huge problem with covering up blemishes. I feel like no matter what I do, they still come through. And I have the Dermablend Concealer, and I have the Amazing Concealer. And I also got the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. And it's like, I'm still red, and you can still see my pimple through my foundation. So, I'm going to try that. All right. Um, what is next? Oh, this is also by Physicians Formula. Um, I I'm super excited about this. Okay, I eat like my husband and I eat pretty much like all organic, if not as least like as all natural as we can. We cut out all the processed crap. Like we don't eat any preservatives or MSG or you know artificial food coloring. For the most part, I know y'all have seen my cakes, I know, on birthdays we kill the kids with food coloring, but you know, what can be done? Um, this is an organic, 100% natural origin um, mascara. It says 70% of the total ingredients are from organic farming. So that's from Physicians Formula. Um, it says give you five times lash boosting, 100% free of harsh chemicals, synthetic preservatives, par parabens, clumping. 100% free of clumping and smudging. Um, yeah, and I'm really excited about this. It's GMO free. It's free of synthetic colors. Um, not like it's going to make a dent in all the other crap that I wear on my face, but I'm excited to try that nonetheless. Um, what else did I get? Um, okay, so I picked up a new foundation from CoverGirl. This is their Advanced Radiance, and it has, like, like, CoverGirl and Olay have, like, several, you know, like, several different makeup products that they kind of do together. Um, I have their Olay and CoverGirl concealer stick, which I love. Um, and I wanted to try this. This is in the shade, um, medium light. And I'm going to go ahead and try this. It's supposed to, um you know, make your skin look younger. So, you know, can't be mad at that. And it's only got an SPF of 10, so it's going to be good with photos and stuff. Um, I will put a link to my why do I look like a ghost in pictures thing. Hint, it's SPF. Um, I also got their Advanced Radiance um, Age Defying Pressed Powder as well. And I got this in the shade Classic Beige. Um, you can tell the Advanced Radiance line really easy. It's easy to find because it's got like this hologram thing. That's probably the only reason why I bought it because something shiny. Let's get it. All right. Guys, I am a mess, and you know what? If you subscribe to my channel and you watch me all the time, this is just the kind of nonsense that you're going to get from me. All right. Okie doke. Um, this is from Nuance by Salma Hayek. Who even heard of this line? I know I didn't, but this was still pretty expensive. Um, I was just kind of intrigued by this because... 
it just looked a little funky. It says Perfect Lips Lip Quad. Um, and I'm going to open this for you. This is what the packaging looks like. Okay, it's in like a pretty giant box. And, all right, let's open this puppy up. Okay, so it looks like like an avocado or something. Um, how do I even get into this thing? Okay. Okie doke. All right, so this little lady has four shades of lip products in it, and this is what they look like. This is the warm quad and what's in here um red hot which is I'm assuming the red color mauve berry sheer champagne and plum shimmer are the four shades in here and it comes with a little lip pencil if you can see right in the middle there um it doesn't come with a mirror though i mean geez louise it's quite the packaging you think they'd throw a mirror in one of those um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try that that looks just interesting i, I mean it's really like i was gonna try lipstick from them but their lipsticks were ten dollars a piece and then this was ten dollars so i figured you know why not get a four pack at least just try out the formula i don't know we'll see how that goes um, I also picked up a couple of, okay, seriously, the Escada Born in Paradise. I think that's what it's called, Something Paradise. It's so delicious. And I was going to pick it up because I ran out of my perfume and Ulta didn't have it in stock. And I'm like, uh, you know, whatever. Um, so I was at CVS and they had these for buy one, get one free. So I thought what the heck so I got one um this is by perfect it makes perfect sense but s-c-e-n-t-s cute um this is the Dolce and Gabbana light blue is what this is supposed to be for and it does smell exactly like it because I have a sample of the Dolce & Gabbana light blue and I'm straight up obsessed with it. And then I also got, um, for my little freebie, I got the Chanel number no. 5 knockoff. So, and I have always loved Chanel number no. 5 as a smell on me. Um, my last thing that I got, this is by Got To Be and this is brand new. Um, this is their glistening full blow dry cream and what this claims to do is it claims to give you volume and shine and this also says that it will accelerate your drying time so I'm gonna try this out and I will tell you if the claims you know match up because my hair takes forever to dry number one um, it's never volumized. My hair is always flat, if you've seen me. Um, so, I'm excited for this. It says, keep, lasting lift keeps hair fluffy for hours and hours. Now, I don't know if fluffy is really the word that you want to describe, um, hair with. I would pick volumized over fluffy, but whatever. I don't write for them. I just buy the product. So I'm excited about those. Um, you know, of course, I'm going to give you updates on everything. You know, if I fall in love with one of these products, you'll most likely see it in my weekly favorites videos. Um, but I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you. And um, yeah, have a great day.